Hey guys, Crew Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Marin. We're back with Jessica Jones. Jones. Jessica. Last time when Jessica Jones. Stupid. Kilgrave. Stupid. What was code? What was stupid? Stupid. What? <laughs> stupid things. Oh, yeah. That was that was great. <laughs> I forgot about that. How could I forget about that? Uh, those were the best needles I've ever seen. But yeah, we did have Kilgrave in this ep in that episode. Uh I don't know if we'll see him again this season, but it's, it's kind of left it open. We're like, yeah, he might come back and I mean, do the he, mind thing. Yeah, that whole thing about, like, um, we say, like, see you around. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So now we got more issues with, like, Trish. And... Well, we've always had an issue with Trish. Trish is stupid. Stupid. Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah, that's Trish. Yeah, so Carl is dead. Mm. Boom, so um, Yeah, the mom is not happy. I think she, she, hopefully she didn't kill uh, Officer Marilyn Toussaint. <laughs> um, I liked her. I really liked her, but yeah, she's she's probably gonna be gunning for Trish. So, so Jessica's gonna have to stop her. Yeah. And I think that's pretty much everything. Yep. Let's go see what's gonna happen on this penultimate episode of episode. No, let's get back to We just have to be patient for now. She has a patient. <laughs> That'd be a terrible reaction if we just sat here the whole time, I guess. Say right. it. I'm the reason that she's obsessed with powers. Damn! Put your clothes, your shoes, and your motorcycle. Coca Cola. Times Square. Wicked! It's blurred. Uh oh, she starts killing everyone. Ah! Oh! Trish Talk. Uh, yep, canceled. She doesn't work there anymore. Just head down the hallway. That's not no. Trish. That's not Trish. Reception help you. Thank you for being a fan. Oh! <laughs> Don't kill her before you see her face. I think she might go after Trish. Hey, hey, you want to quit? Take this. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. That's needlessly destructive. A box. Talk bad about Carl as well. Yeah. What are you playing? Flappy Bird? You don't tell for Flappy Bird. He doesn't know how to play She's straight up going to take this, isn't she? Yeah. It's like pulled up. He's not even going to notice. No. Does she know how to drive? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Ah, it's a play on words. Fucking millennials. What is the point of having sirens if nobody gets out of the way? Right, it's New York. When? Get out and run. Get out and fly. Can she fly? She can jump high. Get out. Do stuff. We don't have time for this. Uh, no, they won't. Joe! It's gonna RV crashed up here. That's what's blocking traffic. Oh, fucking old guard. Remember? I, I, I blocked it out. Oh no! Just eat some chips so loud in his break. Nothing bad's gonna oh, happen. Oh man, the gun. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Man, I know that feel, dude. I can't give you that info. <laughs> Which one? Okay. He's okay, right? Oh no, no, stop, Jessica! No more. Then let me go! No, stop! You've got Using arm to choke you Trish. My beautiful Carla. Puncher! You're choking her! Puncher! Listen to me! Thank you. And you punch her sooner. Uh, uh. Stole my family. Mom, stop. Please don't take mine. I came back. That would be a trick. Oh, I'm okay, it's me. Ah! You're scared me. On the floor. God damn it. No, no, no. Okay. You're done, Aaron. On the floor now. We will shoot. Back off. <sighs> Tougher. Get away from her. Let me see your hands. Slowly. Oh, no. She's got a needle shooting no. Ah! God damn it. Kill her. No. No, what? Grab her. Wait, she. What? Is she tied? She tied onto something? No. No, those are Fucking just. Fucking blinds. Fuck. She, Where'd she go? She's gone. She landed it. <sighs> Sunday's dead. Costa is not on your side anymore. Costa. Don't you goddamn move. Your watch. Excuse me? The Cartier. Tang Francaise, if I'm not mistaken. 
It's worth everything in your shop. Or it's the price of my loyalty. That Robert Downey Jr. watch right there. I'll never buy a watch like that ever. I'd feel bad if it was given to me. I was trying to protect Patsy. Her brand is her legacy. You can't stop selling your daughter. My mother is brain damaged. What's your excuse? Oh, shit. <laughs> this is Walker. She awake? I need you to go to the station morgue. and give us a detailed statement. What are you talking about? We're hiding this her in the morgue? morgue? It is for you. We'll take it from you. Hey, I told her to stick with her lifestyle format. <laughs> you know what? He's like, I told her to stick with her lifestyle format. What did you do if you woke up in a morgue? Be happy. Be terrible. You Be know happy. I, and I woke up. You can kill yourself <laughs> thinking you're a zombie. You can be a zombie. What if you didn't wake up in the morgue? Nothing. You dead. You asshole. So Drake, he stopped it. Oh, you're that's what she cares about. Where are I? All I do is try and save your ass. And all you do is raise your expectations and make sure that I feel worthless. I hope she didn't get any powers. Trish is the worst person ever. I hate her. Who is this? You'll find Simpson's gear in my bedroom closet. Hmm. Use it. Nope. I'm so biased against Trish. I don't agree with anything she says. Anything. So you could, shouldn't kill them all. Turk! To you Turk! Be careful leaving your purse out like that. Yeah. Some bad elements around here. Anything not nailed Look down is fair driving. game. That Porsche, for instance? Hey, you drive a Porsche, you can afford another Porsche. Careful, Turk, or you're going to end up needing my skill set again. Plus a side of curly fries. Yeah. <laughs> is it for you? Probably best I don't know. Wise assessment. Never took you for the type to get her hands He's there. an arms dealer, well, right? it's untraceable, my hands are immaculate. Scrubbing and clean is what I do. Turkish show up in Infinity War. What? Why? Because he's the ultimate crossover. Oh! Ah! Run! Oh, Dude, what would you do if you were driving that van and just someone just started... Ah! <laughs> ha! I said drive. <laughs> Okay, that works. <laughs> you have more respect for the dead. <laughs> Thirty-third and It's gonna screw you over, Ina. If you did me, maybe even worse. Yeah, so it's gonna pay. Hey, wait, wait. You can't just walk in there like this. Uh, yep. Do you think it's any of that was even real? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. If she's just conning her and using her over to crush them. Rush them over. She goes in there, shoots him, and then she's just gone. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, what are you talking about? All right, letters. Well, no. If she grabs that folder and opens it up, and every page is blank. Mm hmm. Or like, has like naked hookers on it. Naked or something. Hookers. Yeah. Remember when she had her hooker, hooker party? Oh. What's she doing? Oh shit! Ugh. She crushed them. Okay. Yeah, Are they no empty? Place. Yeah, absolutely. Blank pages. Oh no, it's just your shit! It's your pawn shit. Ah, it's her hooker stuff. Hello, hi. <laughs> yep. Good for you, Hogarth. She didn't kill anybody. 911? And she'll go to jail for murder. I'd like to report a shooting. We need a deluxe suite Damn, with decent view, preferably overlooking the river. Do you, do you need another pillow? Is she gonna have powers? I hope not. Where are those damn nurses? Oh. Your fans, you've got so Push many fans. Right now. They're rooting for you. Oh my god! Help! Oh my god, what's happening? Oh. Oh. She possessed by the devil. She's getting fucking powers. There he is. Don't move. 
You broke through. Fine, I broke through once, twice. So it's viable. Because it's you. We could own this. There is no we. Mm. But there could be. No. Pull the trigger, honestly. I'd rather it was you. And make her live with I that. Think I make her do it. <coughs> She's trying to call a bluff. Oh, oh come, come on, on, man! Now what? What happens to our dreams when we realize they're never going to come true? They Terminator. turn into nightmares. Just got Terminator, right? And they drove us on the road. RV. At least she's not tied up. What would she hold? She have ropes? She didn't have anything to hold her anyway. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Her bed things. Yeah, but she didn't have those. She had to go back to Jessica's to get them. What? Didn't get my be it. No. Yeah. That's it. Damn, uh, really? That's it. One more episode. <sighs> All right. Well. That didn't go the way I thought I was going to. I hope Trish doesn't have powers. I don't know. She's having that seizure thing going on right now. Yeah, she's gonna fucking die and be reborn and shit. But I, I hate her so much. <laughs> Everything she says, like she comes up, it's like, why'd you stop my powers, you know? Yep. Um, dude, Ina's and Shane. Good. thing with Hogarth was crazy. That was awesome. I'm glad they were crushed and Killed and taken to jail. Like I know you said in the reaction, I don't know if it was in it or not, but like I was saying the same thing. I'm like, is anything she's saying real? Yeah. Is she manipulating her? That's what she does. Like, and she was. I'm like, like dude, it's probably just blank pages in that folder. Yeah. That guy got her, so she got him back, and now he's dead. Good. I'm happy for her. Now I want her to, you know, I mean, granted, she's not healed, but I want her to go and crush those two lawyer fucks. I want her to just crush everything. To give her powers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm cool with that. She have a good Hellcat. Fucking Trish. Calling Jessica a coward. Dude, if Trish has powers, what if she becomes a villain in next season? She's a villain this season. <laughs> no, I mean, Jessica's mom is the antagonist. Even though I don't count her as a villain. I mean, she's, <coughs> she's brain damaged, you know? She can't control herself. It's a really interesting story. I actually really like it. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know how it's gonna end. She had her whole thing about like you brought me back when I've been that deep. Like Carl could never bring me back, but you yeah. did. You did it twice. Because and I'm like, it was okay, you. but she brought you back, and then you killed, killed a Sunday, cop. Yeah, like it wasn't like you were still being manipulated in that thing then. Yeah. So there's still problems. I wasn't sure if she was just calling the bluff or really was like, yeah, just go ahead and kill me then. Yeah. And I mean, I had to tear what I have to. It's like, yeah, go ahead and kill. Me. And make your daughter kill you after your daughter got you back. Yeah, that's after not, thinking you were dead. Yeah, that would be terrible. And I had to kill be, her anyway. That would be worse than you attacking her, killing you. It's like stand in here and kill me in cold blood. They said in the beginning, like uh, at the hospital, the nurse was like, "Yeah, we've had this a lot. People trying to give themselves powers, and uh, they end up hurting themselves and stuff." I'm like, yeah, that's interesting. And it makes sense in a world where these powers exist. People are trying to do it. I wonder who. I wonder if anyone succeeded. For everyone, all these ones that have tried and failed, like it had to be someone that yeah. succeeded, right? Calvin certainly succeeded in giving it's, himself it's, powers. It's different. I like the cover up that it was a botched surgery, that she went to a doctor for like plastic surgery and then she got in jail. And that was like, well, that was at least smart, you know, trying to cover up and protect her legacy. But I mean, I, I mean, I hate the mom too. Yeah. That, that line she had where she's like, you're everything I wanted to be and more is so creepy and gross and. Like, you just you just see, like, all of those pageant moms, you know, yeah. flash by you and stuff. I think it kind of stems into, like, what we're seeing from Trish is a lot of, like, what we're seeing from her mom. Yeah. Like, here's what she wants, and she wants, she wanted more, but she didn't get it, so she has Trish, who's sure. like, here's what I wanted, but you're going to have it and more. Mm -hmm. And then Trish is like, well, I'm going to I need to have this, I need to have more, I need to have more. Yeah. All, all right. right. I'm good. Uh, I was, was going to say about Turk. Turk? Yeah. I love Turk. We had Turk in here. I'm yeah. glad he's been everything, right? Yeah. Every he always season. shows up for like a little bit. Yeah. And then he I thought Punisher was gonna kill him. 
<laughs> he had that bag that had Harlem Shake on it. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> I was like, Harlem Shake? Yeah. And I just thought it was funny. No, I love Turk, man. I hope he's in everything. I want him to sh- pop up in Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. last episode or something. So he keeps getting in trouble. Hoga has saved him in the past. Yeah. And they just have a relationship where they just keep on like, I'll help you if you help and me when I need she help. Can, he can get her a clean gun. Yeah. No, uh, and then she numbers. gets him out of jail when he has trouble. Yep. Love that. All right. I mean, he's pretty well off. He can afford another Porsche if he needed one, he yeah. said. I mean, funny. Turk's never been a bad guy, right? He's He operates outside the law. Yeah, but he's always been, like, helping bad guys, yeah. getting guns, doing that kind of yeah. stuff. But he's never been, like, a villain yeah. kind of person. I know. He's been around since season one of Daredevil. I love it. I liked that whenever uh, Jessica's mom was attacking Trish in the hospital, she was using Jessica's arm like this yeah, to, to choke her. Trish. I was like, God damn, that's terrible. You can make her choke her. I was like, just know? punch her. You have an arm, punch yeah. her. And she didn't, and then it's like, beep, yeah. punch her. And she's like, punch. I'm like, yeah. And then uh, I'm so sad for Costa for putting his trust in Jessica and getting nothing out of it. I See, hope that maybe this last episode, it's like, it, it kind of like, not works out, of course, but like. Costa comes back. Costa comes back and he's like, all right, well, I'll help you clean up, you know, because I, I just, he put so much damn faith in Jessica and got nothing in return. See, she, he said about, like, I trusted you. And now, you know, my partner's dead. But yeah. if he would have listened and trusted her before and not shown up with police, like she said, yeah. it wouldn't have happened like it did. Also, why'd Sunday get so close with a gun to a powered person? You know what I mean? Yeah. And you don't do that. Sunday was always aggressive. But, I mean, I guess she was right to. I guess. I don't know. Mm. But, I mean, I think Jessica would have had her if it wouldn't have for the cops showing up with guns, shooting her leg. Sure. All that stuff. I don't have anything else. We have one more episode. Yeah, it was a good episode. Yeah. I enjoyed it. We have one more to wrap up what's going on with the mom. Like, where's she taking her? Yeah. Where are they going to go? Are they going to go to the beach? Mm-hmm. Is that where the trip was supposed to take them when they were kids? Yeah. Was the beach? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Calvin might be able to jump into the last one, but if not, he'll give his, uh, thoughts on the first episode. Luke Cage is going to be coming up, so... Anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. We'll see you next time. For the finale! Thank you for watching this episode. If you want to watch that finale episode right now, that reaction, you can check that out over at patreon.com slash blindwave, or you can subscribe and just see it here next Monday. Right? Five? Disappeared. <laughs> Hi, trucks. <laughs>